The metal index is no different either. It's poised for the worst October since 2012, with most of its constituents tracking lower. Nikki Mitchellani has put together some charts to show how far and deep this correction goes. Nikki, good morning. Hi Neeraj, uh, October clearly has not been a good month for the metal index as a whole. Uh, if you look at the trend that we've seen in the last six years since 2012, this is for the first time around that the index has turned negative for the month of October and probably has set for the worst fall that we've seen since 2012. The index has seen a sharp cut so far. Uh, to the range of around 3.3%, which compares to nearly 3.7% that we've seen in 2012 here, according to this column that you'd see. Now, what goes behind the constituents that go behind the metal index, which have cracked as much as 3.3%? Let's have a look at it. First, we have a Jindal Stainless Hisar, which has actually slipped by as much as 16% for the month of October. And then you have a couple of steel names like JSPL, JSW Steel, 13% down there, 10% down there, which has made it to the top worst performers list so far for the month of October. But even on YTD basis, the picture is no different. In fact, the index is set for the worst performance that we've seen on YTD basis in at least three years. If you compare the numbers with that of 2015 and uh, you would see the index right now so far until 2018 has seen a cut of around 14 percent which compares to 32 percent downtick that we saw on YTT basis for the year 2015. What has really led uh, to this downfall? Let's look at the stock again. You have uh, Jindal Stainless Hisar, which is apparently the best performing stock that we had in 2017, returning more than 500%. Uh, that has seen a cut of around 59%. Hindustan Copper, 52% downtick there. And also APL Apollo Tubes, one of the best performing stock that we had in the calendar year 2016, uh, fetching a return, a net negative return of 38 percent. Nikki, so are the valuations now a lot more reasonable post this correction? Uh, le well, let's look at the valuation picture. Price to book value, it's completely right now at 1.3 times. And this compares back to the number that we've seen in 2012 at 1.3 times. But you look, if you look at the lows that we've seen uh, since 2015, which is 0 0.6 times, given that we're comparing the YTD return performance with that of 2015, the valuation is almost double to what we have seen in 2015 now, uh, which clearly indicates that uh, even after the recent correction, the stocks are not cheap. In fact, I term it as rather expensive. What Rakesh Arora particularly said about this trend, he said that price to book value, uh, you know, doesn't look like it's doesn't look like it's cheap right now. And in absence of clarity on trade war and the China growth, the stocks can halve from the current levels. So we're definitely looking uh, at definitely some kind of uh, difficult period for the metal sector as a whole but then brokerages uh, differ on this trend in fact their undertone is way bullish than what we have right now let's look at the first brokerage uh, HSBC out there which has said that they expect the steel sector to perform well right now given the kind of headwinds uh, the, sorry the tailwinds that the sector is currently witnessing right now in terms of the robust robust domestic demand China supply reforms and a weak rupee which augurs well for the sector also we have to actually bank which has suggested a positive undertone for the sector as a whole and also the steel industry as a whole saying that depreciating rupee and pickup in infra activity supports Indian steel producers.